Hey guys, this is Sergeant Phoenix back in the action, and as you can see from this, we are playing Gears of War 2. <clears throat> Gears of War 2. Now, we're going to play the campaign. I have mentioned on my Gears of War 1 gameplays the, from the original that I have uh, played this already. So we're starting all the way to the beginning, to the end. The ones I haven't played of Gears of War are Gears of War 4. Hold on. It'll be because I've saved all that day. Because I've just downloaded Gears of War 4 and 5. I haven't played them yet, so... They're a surprise to me. Let me just turn the volume up, just in case. Damn it. I didn't check the volume before. There we go. I bloody hate this TV. Right, so there's like an introduction to it. And I'm going to put it on after. As always, with the desire for power. The need to conquer. The hunger to conceive. Yep. Until it was forced to the pendulum was far greater than it had ever been. But even in reality, humanity left only destruction in its way. Despite their best efforts at survival, the humans of Sierra continued to march blindly to their enemy. And that's just what we do as species. attempts of retaliation were only leading them ever closer to extinction. But we wiped a large number of them out because of the light mass bomb. crippled by their weapons of mass destruction. But to survive is to endure and prosper. And we yeah. have most certainly survived. And that locust just then? That was General Scourge. Jacinto now stands as the last bastion of humanity. A final desperate defense in the face of impossible odds. In a way, I pity them. But humanity has always brought this war upon itself. So there's a bit more of a cutscene bit here. A bunch of uh, injured are heading to the hospitals. This is the uh, 15. This is 15 years and after E Day, which is also called Endurance Day. Sorry, Emergence Day, Sarah. They're getting bolder. Yeah. Those gears were guarding Pomeroy Depot. That's just down the road from here. Exactly. They're moving deeper every day. They're getting more bolder. That's what the locusts are doing it during this time. They're getting more and more bolder. And they're raids and they're even raiding look the cogs tank cart raid supplies and everything. At least we got reinforcements. Yeah. But for how much yeah. longer? If the locusts are acting more and more aggressive, how long have we got until we they wipe us out? Thanks, Anya. I don't remember all the way through this, but I know how it ends. Sergeant Phoenix! Are you Sergeant Phoenix? Yep, yeah, here he is. <laughs> Little car man. And new trainee. And green as grass by the looks of it. Time to train the rook? Nope. With the attacks at Pomeroy, hell no, they need me on patrol. That best way to train it. Best way to train your soldiers is learning on the job. I'll see you inside. In my opinion, best way to learn conflicts to fight on the field. Sir. Reporting your duty, sir! Welcome to Jacinto, Private. Your first order is to guard this spot. You stay here until we get back from patrol. But, sir, there's nothing here to guard. Sounds like a good first assignment to me. Stay <laughs> put. We'll be back, kid. And the newbies.
Yep, yeah, World War II alarm's over here. Anya, you still here? Still here, Marcus. Tell Dom. No, you don't. Anya, what'd you find? A lead on a J-Dub. I'll fill you in later, Dom. I have to get back to control. All right, Anya. So like I've said, this is 15 years after Endurance, after E-Day. So even though we use the light mass bombs to wipe out the lock, wipe out the locusts' armies, we didn't wipe them all out. We only wiped out, let's say, a few of the, a few of the thousands. There he is. Good to see you. What are we looking Man's a legend. Follow me. I'm still debating whether or not I'm getting, getting a Gears of War tattoo on my arm, the left one. I'm thinking of getting either the Locust or the Cog, the Locust or the Cog symbol, or mixing them both in, having the Cog symbol on the outside and the Locust symbol on the inside. Yeah. I'm already aware why the locusts. There's actually a reason why the locusts emerged from the to the surface after so long. After living underground. See that? They're going to be coming from here. We're going to use those gas bombs to blow them up. Great. Hold fire till the right below us. We want to get as many of them in the courtyard as we can. So the minute, so you see that? The minute that, the minute they're all right there, we're gonna blow them up. So we need to stay. So we need to let them come in. Right there. Right there. Right there. Build fire! Control, where's the power? Almost there, Delta. Oh, there's the power. Thanks, Control. Delta out. What'd you say these guys got? Rust lung, emotion sickness. Yeah. Cases have been popping up all over since the light mass bombing. There's a horrible way for a warrior to die. Uh, contagious? They say it's not, but I keep my distance. Yeah, it's not contagious. No argument here. As far as I know, rust lung isn't contagious when you have it, but they do recommend keep. But obviously, I'd still keep. I keep a mile distance. And they've got my favourite guns on here: hammer bus. I got it. Hello. Ironically, I haven't played this game in years, believe it or not. I mainly play I mainly play bits and gears of war three. Like the versus matches and everything because they're just my favourite. Come on. You get him at an angle. Ah, there you go, my favourite toy. I mentioned I'd have this in real life if I was, you know, if I could actually get full scale. But I've seen the, I've actually seen the full scale props of these, and they're bloody massive. Take it easy. We're up. We're in the building. Two of them here. See why I like this gun? A lot more pasting. Then I don't waste my time training it. 
on the training mission. I played it, but it's just a waste of time because I know how to play this game. My only goal is to kick these, kick their overgrown scaly asses. I got everything locked fully ordered. Better to have everything better before you go on the fight is to have everything ready. I got his head. Look at that. Clean go for the head. Clean shot to the head. I mentioned actually, just think about it. I mentioned oh no. Obviously. Roger control, we're on it. No, but I mentioned like what weapon would be better. You know which one causes the most damage, the Lance or the, or the hammer boss. I would think the hammer boss, because if it's paced in, it could probably cause more damage. Damage and probably has more accuracy than. The, and it probably has a lot more accuracy than the, the Lance. Uh, if I can do it, yeah. Savage. The oh, bloody hell. No way I can get upstairs. Yeah, there's a way upstairs. Yeah, so I'm guessing, you know, because I track, because I'm not really good at knowing the different types of weapons, but I think this is classed as a semi-auto, isn't it? Because I mentioned, believe it or not, I actually mentioned on one of my Gears of War, like the gun laws in America. You know, it was during a Good Morning Britain everything, in case Morgan, like me, just went nuts when he heard it. They mentioned that in America where 33,000 people are killed a year by gun crimes and stuff, that eat, that choking on candy is more, practically more dangerous and gun crimes don't go on the top 10 list of it. Which is, you know, like, peace was like, I mean, like, I'm, I was feeling sorry for his Zana because, because, you know, Pierce was like me, just couldn't believe what he was hearing. Jack, open this door. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on. They're having it. They're just excited at me to get shot. Spiral some of our weapons. Reload. I like the glow of locust blood in this night. I got a sick night. Hey, no offense, we're living, we're living in a sick world, Dom, so you gotta just have a bit of humor. And the power's back. It wouldn't surprise me if a war actually did happen where the whole world was practically a wasteland. I'd probably turn insane, I'd turn insane in just a matter of a matter of days. What are you doing here, Rook? I was guarding got too hot, Sergeant. These gears rounded me up to fight, sir. Then why aren't you out there fighting? Out there fighting. Well, reloading, sir. I still don't have that trick down. <sighs> Better learn fast. Well, you, well, you can come with us. Delta. Grab some cover. We gotta dig in before we can get down there. Oh, God. The snapper, though. That might have been just that. Just gonna now that I've done it again. Can I blow these up? Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, I'm on. Smile for, for the camera. Woo! Oh, I love me a chopper when it's on our side. He's he's in their own soldiers with his little ties. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an area on the side where I can find them, but I'm just going straight ahead. Any more? There's a few more here. Come on. Still use, still use these as shields. Got for his head. Oh no, 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 I lost my, my shield. See the falling back. Never seen the locust run like this. Running away won't help. I'll just shoot you in your asses. All right, take it easy, Dom. Damn right. I missed my family. I'll kill every one of these bastards. <sighs> nice work, Delta. And Rook. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. You did good. Well, thanks, Sergeant Phoenix. Control, this is Delta. The enemies are right eliminated. The enemies have retreated. Copy that, Delta. Everything okay on your end? Something's yeah. what we know, but I know it's straight away something's off What'd about them. I... Tell me, Anya, don't bullshit me. The Jane Doe I mentioned, she fixed the description, but well, looks like she was released a few days ago. We don't have any info after that. There's got to be another lead or or something, right? I'm sorry, Dom. That's it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Damn it! Not again! I lost her again! Ah! God 
damn it! You can copy that on you. Delta out. I get it. Well, I can't really get it because I don't have a laugh. You okay? Just. I'll catch up with you in a sec, Marcus. Just let him. Right. Just yeah. let, it, let him have it out. Whatever you need. Guys, let's go. Here it comes. This, I've watched this scene on it on YouTube God knows how many times because it's it's a speech, a war speech coming on from Prescott. It's a speech I'd give to my own soldiers if I was a, a general in the army. Humans are no strangers to war. After all, we've been fighting for as long as we can remember. War is all we know. In the past, we fought for emulsion. We fought for country. We fought for freedom. But all that changed after me. For 15 years, we've been fighting for our very survival against inhuman, genocidal monsters. But it is a fight. We cannot continue. Humanity faces extinction unless we end this war now. So why land down, Sergeant? Why not just drill down here? Just because because they can't dig on the hay up. Dig through, and land down's a perfect spot to hit them on their own turf. Heard there's a shitload of grubs there, Sergeant. You're not wrong, kid. Ten shitloads. No, we only wiped out a pack of a pack of, compared to the hard. Yep. Unless we strike them. Not done yet, just wait for it. Gears. What I ask of you now is not an easy thing, but it is necessary. If we are to survive, if we are to live long enough to see the seasons pass, our children grow and experience a time of peace that we have never known, we must now take this we will go to where they live and where they breed and we'll destroy them all. Woo! This even happened me up. What I tell ya, still apps me up even after how many times you watch it. It's Dizza. Yep. Prescott's right though when it comes to war and humans. War is the one thing we know what to do straight away. In the moment we're born. In the past we have fought for resources. We fought to dominate lands. We and we fought to defend our homes. You a conscript? I'm taking the turret. I'm taking the turret. There's bird. It is cold. Woo! 
control. This is Delta. We're aboard Rig 314 and are heading out now. Roger that, Delta. You're good to go. Well, like I was going to say, ever since... But ever since the beginning, human beings, we've been fighting wars for as long as we remember, for as long as history can tell us. But now we all face a threat, and that's COVID-19. It's already taken too many people. And hopefully, with this vaccine, because I live in the UK, works as well as it's been said. For a lot of people, we might have a fight. We finally hope, got hope of a fighting chance to actually end this pandemic forever. So in my opinion, it's, be it's better that we live in hope than have no hope at all. Because if the whole world was like that, we wouldn't be, I don't think the human race would be here today. And I don't think we would have learned so much. It's just too bad all the nations of the world just can't properly work together. Great, they're here. Ah, oh, take it easy, Carmine, you'll be fine. We're on 27 minutes already, I've not even kept track of time. There's, we're not going to have any birds left. Can't shoot them. I didn't even kill any proper. I only killed one. Takes a lot more take out of Dizzy. Oh, what's going on? I think we're, sl we're sliding down. Hang on! Are we stuck? God, I love these kind of guys. They love. They treat the vehicle like they do, like it's the wife. Look after, what looked after, and uh, and treat it with love. We've got Locus on the way. We gotta get. We gotta give the dizzy cover to repair the, repair the that stupid thing. How many flimming holes are we getting? Those better not okay then they're better not the bloody wrenches, I hate wrenches. Go! 
got the blood and just popping up everywhere. But he is right though, we can't just drill it to a certain location straight away. And that's because Jacento is literally the one place the locusts can't dig under. Because if it's... A, I think it's because of the... I don't actually know why it is that I can't just dig rat and just Jacento. It's actually hollowed rat. The hollow's actually rat underneath Jacento. So, but it's uh, that I'm guessing it's got some kind of mineral structure that keeps it from being sunk, keep them from digging rat underneath. Oh, again, I'll see there. I could do with some bloody. Don't have any, you, see, you guys don't have any ammo, do you? I'm bloody, I'm running dry. We take out all the cedars. No trees were harmed in the production of making this game. Because we're knocking all these trees over. Yep, we've, I think we've made it to the land downs. Something big went down here. Delta, control here. I'm detecting serious seismic activity beneath you. So this will be... Chapter. This will officially be the set, I think up to the second chapter. Look at, look at, look at how many! Hey, you know what? I'm actually going to call it there. There for now. So comment down below what you all thought of this game so far. You know, if you want to talk about me in the speech, or that my thoughts on that speech and everything, I don't mind. But until then, this is Sergeant Phoenix, over and out.